Hello, welcome to my Minecraft Alpha tutorial how to survive the first night. This is actually part two in a very basic series on how to survive your first couple of days in Minecraft Alpha. Um, again, this is survival mode where um, during the day you need to accomplish specific tasks in order to make your nighttime survival, uh, the chances of survival during the night, greater. Um, by day you go out and you harvest and you can build while the sun is shining and you're relatively safe um, and at night bad things come out and try to hunt you down or they do hunt you down and attempt to eat you so you need to be prepared for that anyway um, again this is part two um, in a series the first one was surviving the first night so I would recommend that you go and view that one if you haven't already um, because I had already demonstrated how to get to this point um, surviving the first night we dug this little hidey hole and I have a few tools here and, and today I'm going to demonstrate um, uh, your, your basically your second day um, how to harvest food, how to cook it, how to eat it and we might even get to some armor making today um, so let's get started so here we are in, in our uh, little hidey hole the sun has come up um, it's day again and it's safe to get back outside now during the night I created this little extra area here. I found some more coal I dug down with my pick and I've also created a couple of extra tools. Um, again, if you press I it brings up your inventory. I created an extra pickaxe and an extra shovel. Now notice that these are made of stone. That's this color here, the gray is stone. Um, so, And this one here is made of wood. Wood um, items degrade faster. Notice this bar here on the bottom. That's the health of this item. Um, it starts out with a full bar, but when you start using this tool, um, it slowly degrades over time. For instance, if I take my pick and I start whacking into the stone here, notice that the bar slowly goes down. And it goes down one or two, I'm sorry, one I think every second collection. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but as you can see it does go down. So you want to have a couple of extra tools on you, that's the point. So let's go and create one more pickaxe. So now this one's um, it's about 20% left of life, so we need more than that to go out and do some digging. So what I'm going to do is create a new pickaxe. And again, from the last tutorial I showed you kind of make a rough shape of the, of the tool that you're looking for. So here's the handle. Take my stone drop it in this crafting area here and I make another pick. I'm going to put that pick here and now there's one thing I don't have is an axe. I want an axe to cut down trees for wood because I'm running low on wood and I, I need definitely need more wood. So here's here's my axe. There's a handle here, um, stone, stone, stone in these three and that kind of creates the uh, shape of an axe. So let's grab an axe. I'm going to make two axes. One for backup in case my first one breaks. And it will eventually as I chop down trees. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now that we're ready to get out of here, let's go and collect some food. So I'm going to bust out. Now I did create this little wall here to uh, be safe throughout the night, and now it's time to go out. Um, one thing to keep in mind, there are some creatures that will remain in the daytime and one of them is called a creeper. It's a little green fella and he kinda hops around and uh, if he sees you he's gonna make straight to you. He's gonna run right at you and if he gets close you're gonna hear him sizzle and you've got about three seconds before he explodes and uh, he'll take you down almost full life. He'll kill you in one hit in most cases. There was one out here. I don't see him anymore, so it looks like I'm okay. Um, let's go gather some food. As if we notice down here at the bottom of my screen, I have um, hearts. Now I've got uh, three hearts that are no longer red. That means I'm hurt. The red is good. The black is bad. I've lost three hearts. In the middle of the night, I did get in a fight with a spider, um, and he knocked me down three. So I've got to get those hearts back up, and the only way to get those hearts back up right now is with food. So let's collect some food. Here's a little piggy. I take out my sword, and I'm just going to slaughter the pig. Two hits with a weapon will usually kill him. Oop. See that he drops a little, when you kill him, he'll drop a, uh, a little pork chop. Now that's an uncooked pork chop, a raw pork chop. Probably not the safest thing to eat. 
Um, in real life, in the game, it's fine. So let me show you what happens when I eat that pork. What you want to do is get the pork in your hand. There it is. See it? Um, and once it's in your hand, you just click on your right mouse button. And I eat it. Notice the hearts. My hearts went up. Raw pork will will um, will put one and a half hearts back um, back where they belong. Um, cooked pork will actually restore. That's the word I'm looking for. Restore um, will restore one and a half um, hearts. Cooked pork actually restores four hearts. So it's advantageous to cook your pork and carry cooked pork around with you and use that for healing purposes. But in a pinch, raw works fine. So now let's get some more pork. I'm going to kill this poor little porky here. And unfortunately, he didn't drop any pork chops. He was too thin. Um, it's, it's random. Sometimes they drop one pork. Sometimes they drop two pieces of pork. Sometimes they don't drop any pork at all, like that fella. So uh, let's try one more, because I do want to demonstrate the cooking portion. Let's go over here. There's a couple of porkies here. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Let's grab this guy and smack, smack. Again, I'm just left clicking to swing my sword. And there's two pieces of pork. Grab the pork. Now, the thing about food is um, you can't stack it like you can other items. So you can only collect so much. So if I try to put that on top of that one, it doesn't work. I can stack other things, sand, wood, coal, but I can't stack food. And that's for balancing purposes. At least I think it's for balancing purposes. So that you can't run around with stacks and stacks of food. Um, it would just make it too easy to survive. So I'm going to grab two more pieces of pork. Come here. And now I've got four pieces of raw pork. I like to have my food all the way to the right slot like this. So if you press the number 9 key on your keyboard, see each one of these squares down here is mapped to a key on your keyboard. The first one, number 1, is the first spot. 2, 3, 4, I'm just pressing the keys. And number 9, I like to have handy. So when I'm, if I'm running from something and I'm hurt, I can just click my 9 key and press my right mouse button and I will eat food. Just a quick handy tip. Um, let's get some more wood because I am running low on wood. So I'm going to break out my axe because axe cuts through wood fast. Notice how fast that cuts through the wood. If I use a pickaxe or something, it's going to be much slower. So I'm going to grab some more blocks. And again, if you haven't seen the first tutorial that I did, I would recommend going back and viewing that one. It's called How to Survive the First Night. Um, I talk about raw resources and wood and so forth. Um, so now I have 10 more blocks of wood. Um, what I want to do is actually cook this meat so that I can have um, cooked pork and that way it'll heal more hit points or more of my hearts um, every time I eat a piece of pork. Cause again, right now the raw pork only restores one and a half. Alright, so we, what we need to do to cook pork, and I would normally do this in my little hidey hole or my little fort or home, but rather than run back there right now, I'm just going to do it here. Um, bring up your inventory, and I need another crafting bench, a workbench. So again, looks like the old tutorial. Four pieces of plank. We'll create a workbench. Put my workbench down. Bring that up. And now to make a stove, I need stone. And this is your stove. All around the edge middle square blank creates a stone furnace with which we can cook and and uh, make we can turn iron ore into iron um, we can do all kinds of stuff with this so let's uh, let's go to our stove now right click on the stove now you need coal or wood to do any kind of cooking or burning coal lasts much longer than wood if I put sticks in here I could use those as uh, fuel, but it doesn't last very long. So what I'm going to do is um, use the coal. So I don't need that much coal. I'm just going to take one piece of coal. Should be enough for four pieces of pork. Drop the pork in here. Now notice it eats my coal right away, the furnace, and it creates a full bar of flame. Full bar of flame should be enough to do four pieces of pork. 
So this will slowly dwindle as the coal burns. And I can even shut this inventory window down and walk away and it will continue to cook. In fact, I'll show you here. That's cooking. This shows that it's cooking. Even in the world, it shows that it's cooking. A little fire there going. Oh, ooh, the sun's going down now and it's getting dark. So I want to finish this up and end this tutorial before nightfall. Back in here, grab that piece. Notice the, the color changes as well. It goes from pink to cooked color, a little brownish. These are definitely well done, just the way we like our pork. And four pieces of pork. Great. So that's it. Now, I can put this stuff back in my inventory just by whacking it. Just left click with a pick or a sword or whatever. And now that's back in my inventory. I can beat this one up too. Put this one back in my inventory. And now, I should really get back to my hidey hole. But I'm not sure where it is right now. So I'm going to end this tutorial. There you have it. That's how to cook. Now let's eat this last piece. Replenish my health. Put my sword in my hand. And I'm going to quit here and, in the meantime, uh, run back to my hidey hole for the night. And the next tutorial, I will demonstrate um, how to collect leather and we'll make some armor. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.